Herod, hearing about Jesus, thought he was John the Baptist risen from the dead. Herod had imprisoned John because John criticized his marriage to Herodias, his brother's wife. On Herod's birthday, Herodias' daughter danced and asked for John's head on a platter. Despite his distress, Herod granted the request due to his oath and guests. John's disciples buried his body and informed Jesus. One day, Jesus was preaching to a lot of people. In the evening, he took a short break and talked to his friends, the disciples. He told them, The people need to eat something. I want you to give them food. They started to think, There are more than 5,000 men here, even without counting women and children. We could buy bread, but that would cost us a fortune. It would be better just to send them away. One of the disciples had found a boy that still had five small loaves of bread and two fish. That's all right, Jesus told them. He took the bread and the fish, thanked God for it, and told his disciples to spread it out to the people. And as they did this, they miraculously did not run out of food. Everybody ate and was satisfied. After that, the disciples collected 12 baskets filled with leftover bread. One day, the friends of Jesus, the disciples, crossed a river. Jesus stayed behind to talk with God. When it became night, a storm appeared. The disciples could hardly keep the boat from sinking. Then they saw what looked like a person coming towards them on the water, and they were terribly afraid. Look at that! What is that? That must be a ghost! Don't be afraid, the person said. It is me. Then they recognized that it was Jesus walking towards them on the water. Peter was amazed. Jesus, let me walk towards you on the water. Jesus invited Peter out and he got out of the boat and started to walk towards Jesus on the water. But when Peter saw the waves, he got scared and started to sink. Jesus, help me, he cried. Jesus took his hand and they both got back into the boat. Why do you still have so little faith? He asked Peter. While he was still talking to them, the storm calmed and they were ready to cross over to the other side of the lake. <laughs>